Hello and welcome back to another episode of Prediction where I be predicting the Elimination Chamber, which is the last stop before WrestleMania for the main roster. As so far according to my wrestling schedule there are just two more NXT shows left to predict before I get to predict WrestleMania. So since I am doing this before, SmackDown these are the matches that we know about so far. Well unless WWE change their plans once Saturday hits. Well I wasted enough time here are my predictions for the Elimination Chamber. Bobby Lashley vs Brock Lesnar. This is a rubber match, so just two big strong men going after each other. Both Lashley and Lesnar been going after each other, and on Raw Lashley had the upper hand when it came to the contract signing. So would that mean Lesnar is going to win this match? Maybe, as that when it seems, what the WWE would do. Since Vince is back in charge. However I am going with Lashley to win. Asuka vs Carmella vs Liv Morgan vs Natalya vs Nikki Cross vs Raquel Rodriguez Elimination Chamber Match for a Raw Women's Championship Match at WrestleMania. This won't be the first time that these women were inside the Elimination Chamber. More so with Liv Morgan, making it her fifth time inside. With Carmella and Natalya not far behind with their third time. As for the other three this is their second time time. So all of them knows what to expect, once they step inside. All six have what it takes to come up on top and face, Belair for her title. So it's a little tricky. Natalia will be on her home turf of Canada, but would that mean she will win? Sadly I don't think so even if I believe she is an unrated talent who isn't used right. She should have been champion again, and I hope she becomes at least a three-time champion before she retires from in-ring competition. During the match I do see Asuka using her mist and maybe it will cost her by her getting pined after using it. Anyway the person I think is going to win is Raquel Rodriguez. Edge and Beth Phoenix vs. Ben Boar and Rhea Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day. This is the match we have been waiting for since Rhea attacked Beth and now we get it. I just hope this doesn't disappoint. Maybe Dominic will show up to help his mommy, while Priest is getting ready for his match or resting after it. All depends on when this match falls. Even after this match is over with W, WE may continue the feud with one more match maybe even two. So Edge has more of an edge as he wants more payback after he was forced to say the words I quit just to see if his wife Beth. Also Beth wants revenge too. So after some thought I am going with the Brit couple. Austin Theory vs Seth Rollins vs Johnny Gargano vs Bronson, Reed vs Damian Priest vs Montez Ford for the United States Championship inside the Elimination Chamber. The only people have been in the chamber has been the champ Austin Theory and Seth Rollins. This will be their second time inside the structure, while for everyone else they have their work cut out for them. So Theory and Rollins has a slight edge in this match. Well the other edge is if your pod is the last to open up, and there is only one man that has yet to be eliminated. Bronson Reed is one hell of a powerhouse and has the chance to win this thing. However there are rumors someone will take his place because Reed was attacked. Who knows maybe it would be Bobby after his match with Brock. Only if those rumors are true. I could see Theory, Rollins, and Priest being the last three in the match. At the end of it all I am going with Theory for the win. The last match will be Roman Reigns vs Sami Zayn for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Roman will be champ for 901 days this Saturday. That is 2 years, 5 months and 21 days. Now will Sami make sure it won't be 902 days for Roman. Just like with Natalia we are on Sami's home turf of Canada. We did hear that Reigns wanted to do this on his own, but why am I getting the feeling, he will still get help from, at least one of his cousins like Solo. This is a bit tricky to predict even if it sounds so easy on who will win here. 
I would like to see the belts being separated, and the only way I can see that happen is Sami wins the match. But you don't win the titles, as Sami only won because of a disqualification and when Cody beats Reigns he breaks the belts up that's when Sami comes in to challenge Rhodes for the Universal Championship on night 2 of Mania, Raw or Smackdown, or at Money in the Bank. However, that's not going to happen. What will happen is the champ will still be Roman Reigns. That does it for prediction until next time.